Hi everybody, I'm Jen with opensource.com. Got a brand new top five for you today for July 1st. And we're getting ready to celebrate the 4th of July here in the state. So I got my beach towel on, my sunglasses, I'm ready to go after this top five is recorded. All right, let's hop into it. At number five, six reasons why Guadake is a music lover's open source player. Chris Hermanson brings us his open music column, uh, which is this week about a player you may not have heard of. You can learn more about the features that Chris says this player has that others don't. At number four, organize your movie and TV files with Tiny Media Manager. Seth Kenlon tells us about this open source media management tool that generates video file metadata. At number three, how to configure networking in Linux. So connecting your Linux computer to a network is pretty straightforward, right? Except when it's not. David Both discusses the main network configuration files for Red Hat based Linux distributions and takes a look at two network startup services. At number two, Seven Myths About Open Sourcing Your Company Software. Amanda Folson talked at Linux Fest Northwest this summer in Charlotte, North Carolina about making the choice to open source your code and how that can be pretty scary sometimes. So a lot of times that fear though is based in misconceptions about what happens when you open source your code. In this article, she busts those myths. And finally, at number one, how I welcomed an immigrant family with a Linux laptop. Maryland librarian Phil Shapiro sees a new family move to town and come to his library looking for help getting a job, learning English, or learning about the area once or twice a month. He often helps with lending laptops and introducing people to Linux and other open source tools. You can find out about his latest experience in this post. And that's it for the top five, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great weekend.